Hello, La Jolla ISD community. I'm Judith Garcia, and welcome to this edition of The Rundown. La Jolla ISD holds a second annual code drive to help students stay warm during this winter season. The community district employees and our superintendent of schools took part in the winter code drive by donating new and gently used coats. All donations stayed in La Jolla ISD and are being distributed to students in need. Christmas is the season for giving. It's early in the morning and we've already had a lot of community members come by and donate coats. And so we're very excited that the community is responding like this to our our coat drive and we can't wait for all of these coats and scarves and bonnets to keep our students and our community warm. So thank you so much to our community for participating. Uh, we want to make sure that our children uh, during these upcoming cold months uh, can focus on uh, an education and their academics and not worry about being cold. One of our district belief statements is that uh, we control the variables and that all kids can learn. So we want to make sure that we eliminate this uh, variable from the equation. Right, that our kids are comfortable and that they are warm and they, they're able to come to school and learn. La Jolla is the Special Education Department holds a 10 annual Motors Activity Training Program, MATP Special Olympics. The MATP is designed for individuals with disabilities and emphasizes training and participation. This is a remarkable holiday treat for our students and for everyone involved, from the teachers to the coaches and as well as the families and the loved ones of our participants. We've been doing this for 10 years and our kids come out, they practice their skills and then at the end they do receive a medal from Special Olympics and they do receive a uh, special gift from Santa as well. It's important to show uh, that we are here for the kids, to empower them so that they can continue to grow emotionally, physically and academically as well. The activities here are tailored to help them with their gross motor and fine motor activities as well. Teachers look forward to it, the students and the parents, and we all do because it's an amazing time for the kids, for them to experience success and to be able to have a great time out here with everybody in their classrooms. Es una forma de incluirlos a todos y celebrarles de una manera muy bonita sin hacerlos sentir diferentes. Pues es como un abrazo, un extra abrazo para ellos, este planeado con mucho cariño por todas. Se agradece mucho, por eso estamos aquí para apoyarlos y compartir con ellos. Lo veo feliz, lo veo contento, lo veo integrado, muy contenta de que haya fondos extra y que vean una prioridad eh, tomar en cuenta a estos niños y hacerlos sentir especial porque casi siempre pues son excluidos y aquí los hacen sentir cobijados, apoyados y de una manera muy tierna para ellos. No, gracias y feliz Navidad para todos. La Jolla is the Educational Excellence Foundation holds the third annual Black and White Gala. Guests enjoy a magical night with a delicious dinner, a silent auction, and entertainment. This year, the foundation has raised thousands of dollars for classroom grants and scholarships. We just want to thank, we want to thank, first of all, our, our board of trustees, um, our superintendent of schools, Dr. Gisela Science, for believing in the foundation and, and continuing to support the foundation the way they do. Um, and all in all, because we give back. And that's what it's all about, giving back to our students, giving back to our classrooms, giving back to our teachers. I can't believe it's already been three years that we've had this fundraiser. Um, and every year it's been a big success. Our graduates are appreciative of every any money that they get extra. So this is going to be a new initiative for the foundation also. We're looking forward to giving some of our students some extra money also. This is, looks amazing. Thank you so much to the foundation for making it possible for our students, for our staff, for the opportunities, uh, for everybody working together to make things possible. I want to thank everybody that made this possible, to the organization that made this uh, happen, for all of our sponsors. Thank you so much. This means a lot to our district, for all our students. Actually, you know, just coming in here today, the, the, the atmosphere, the, the energy, you know, it's, it's up and going and it's, it's, it's amazing to see the entire community, the cities come together, all our vendors come together for one cause, which is the most important cause and that's our children. I also want to take this time to thank our business partners, 
who contribute uh, year after year and provide this support not only to our students but also to our teachers who are able to bring all this technology and uh, into the classroom. La Jolla ISD bus drivers are spreading the holiday joy to students at Dr. Paredes Elementary by hosting a posada with gifts and toys for all the students. Our La Jolla ISD School Board of Trustees were also present to celebrate with our students. Each bus driver is, is giving away from their own pocket because they see these students not only as, as children that they take home, but family. And that's what La Jolla ISD instills in our bus drivers and in all our employees to treat our children like family. A very special person that we need to thank is Mr. Carlos Hernandez. I know he started this four years ago. And as you can see, it's grown into this beautiful event where everybody now takes part of it. All our bus drivers are part of it, part of it and we can actually come out here and bring some smiles into these kids. Mi sueño era que todos participaran. Y gracias a Dios que el año pasado los compañeros decidieron que este año lo hiciéramos todo. Y ese es el, el resultado. Hay muchos niños que no tienen un momento de, de, de gozo, por decir así. Entonces aquí ellos se divierten bastante. Como quiera también tuvimos donaciones que nos hicieron los board members. Se los agradecemos de todo corazón porque es para, para los niños. Quiero desearles una feliz Navidad a todo el distrito. Este próximo año sea el mejor. Que sigan haciendo eventos de estos para los niños. The Library Media Services Department hosts the Fall Literacy Tertulia for Seguin Elementary, Mendiola Elementary, Dr. Science Middle School, and for our community. Students got to spend an afternoon working on different literacy activities. They got to build gingerbread houses, decorate cookies, write letters to Santa, and listen to Christmas stories. All students receive free books provided by the Molina Foundation. Uh, today we have our Fall Literacy Tertulia. We're gonna give about 1,500 books today, free to the kids, and I don't know if you saw them, but they are beautiful. Beautiful. Super, super excited because thanks to the Santa Slave Molina Foundation grant and of course to Ms. Mary Leal, coordinator of grants, uh, we were able to get all those books that we're going to give out today. Reading is a gift that we need to practice. Este evento en sí se enfoca en desarrollar la lectura, la escritura de nuestros estudiantes y obviamente tenemos muchísimas opciones a nivel de libros, a nivel de, de lectura para seguir exponiendo a nuestros estudiantes a este tipo de ambiente en donde en donde ellos aprenden obviamente acerca de la lectura y de diferentes formatos dentro de nuestras estaciones. Thank you to everyone who made this event a total success. That's a wrap of the rundown for today. Remember, if you would like to see more stories and behind the scenes, be sure to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. On behalf of everyone here at La Jolla ISD KJS TV, we would like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Till 2020.